it's the table. I've been dreading doing this one, and I, you maybe have been dreading watching it, but uh, I checked in the solutions, and the solutions do not have answers to this thing, so there's no getting around it. I think I have to hammer through and do all this crunch, so uh, I will now do that and try to comment occasionally. Before we dig in, I'm just going to point out some the connections we're going to use to make this thing go. There are, there are formulae that connect the pH and H3O. We can jump from either one of these to the other. We can say negative log H3O will give us the pH, or 10 to the minus pH will give us H3O. So we got, we can jump between those two columns, no sweat. There are analogous formulas that jump get us between hydroxide and pOH. So we can say negative log hydroxide is the pOH, or 10 to the minus pOH gives us the hydroxide. And finally, there is a formula that connects the two p numbers, and that formula so, so to speak, is that pH and pOH add up to 14. So we can make, we can jump between these two, no problem, the two acid numbers. We can jump between the two base numbers, and we can jump between the two p numbers. There is a way, if you know about something called the ion product for water, that we can jump directly between these two, but we haven't brought it up yet, and I generally try to teach people to work without it because it's annoying to remember. And so the that being the case, the worst thing that w could happen to us is we have like H3O and we have to fill in the OH because then we have to go from H3O to pH, then jump over here to pOH, and then finally get the hydroxide concentration. So I hope those don't tax your patients too much. So without further ado, I'm going to pile into this and I hope I can get through it without making too many errors. If I do, you may cruelly mock me in the comments section and I will humbly acknowledge my mistakes and thank you for correcting me. And I'll try to narrate as I go along just to remind you what we're doing so that hopefully you can, if you're following along, it'll help you get into some kind of flow. So the P numbers have to add up to 14. 14 minus 6.23 is 777. Now from 10 to the minus, any P number gives us the corresponding concentration. So 10 to the minus 6.23 gives 5.89. By the way, I'm also not going to be careful about significant digits particularly in this thing because it's just going to go on for too long and I'm trying to save a few minutes. So this is 5.89 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 7 if my eyes aren't going buggy from counting zeros. On the OH side, 10 to the minus 7.77. And from that I get 1.7 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Quick note, the acid here is just a little bit more than the base, and that makes sense for a solution that looks like it's just a smidge on the acidic side. Okay, they give us OH. We can get pOH from that by doing negative log. So 2 times 10 to the minus 8 goes into the calculator, log it, negative, and you get 7.7 .7 for the pOH. Notice these concentrations are pretty close, so it makes sense the p's are pretty close. Um, the p numbers have to add up to 14, so this has got to be 6.3 over here. And then 10 to the minus 6.3. gives us 5.01 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a 7. Okay. Uh, here. pOH is 8.6. The P numbers have to add up to 14, so this has got to be 5.4 for the pH. Concentration here is 10 to the minus 5.4, which is 3.98 
times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for the base, it'll be 10 to the minus 8.6, which on my calculator, this comes out 0 point, bunch of zeros, and then a 3. So I'm afraid I can only give one sig dig here because of the limitations of my equipment. 3 times 10 to the minus, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, if I counted that correctly. All right. H3O, I can get pH from that. 5.8 times 10 to the minus 3. Negative log gives you that the pH is 2.24. 2.24. If you have that P number, you can jump to the other one. 14 minus 2.24 gives 11.76 for the POH. And now that we have the POH, we can do 10 to the minus 11.76. And that gives us, at least for this one, it's so small it goes to scientific notation for me, which helps a little bit. This is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 12. Okay. Neutral. Neutral means pH 7. The P numbers have to add up to 14, so if the pH is 7, the POH is also 7. This will be 10 to the minus 7 on the nose, so will this. Okay, so that one was calculator free. If the pH is 0.6, the P numbers have to add up to 14, this must be 13.4. The Acid number is going to be 10 to the minus 0 0.6, 10 yx 0 0.6 negative. I get 0 0.25 for that. It's not times 10 to the minus anything. Well, you could write this as 2.5 times 10 to the minus 1 if you're crazy, but this is a perfectly good way to give a concentration. And for the pOH, it's going to be 10 to the minus 13.4. And the calculator goes to scientific automatically for that. I get 398 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay, if the pOH is 15, this has to be 14 minus 15, so it's actually minus 1. This is one of those unusual solutions. Very, very acidic. The H3O for this is going to be 10 to the minus pH. So 10 to the minus minus 1, which becomes 10 to the plus 1, which is actually just 10. This is actually 10 moles per liter. That's some pretty thick acid. And on this side, we get 10 to the minus 15. Or you can say 1.0 times 10 to the minus 15, if you like. Technically, this has one sig dig, so this should also, it should just be 1 times 10 to the minus 15. Okay, 2.0 times 10 to the 1, in other words, 20 moles per liter, again pretty heavy acid. You can get the pH by doing negative log of that. 20 log negative gives minus 1.3 for the pH. Very strong. The pH and the pOH have to add up to 14. If you do 14 minus negative 1.3, you get 14 plus 1.3, which is 15.3. And now our hydroxide is 10 to the minus 15.3. And that comes out to 5.0 times 10 to the minus 16th. If the pOH is minus 1, then this must be pH 15. Sounds pretty basic. The H3O concentration will be 10 to the minus 15. Or 1.0 times 10 to the minus 15, if you want. Sorry, this has one sig dig because it's a P number. The 1 doesn't count, only the 0 does. So this should just be 1 times 10 to the minus 15. And for the pOH, we get 10 to the minus negative 1, which is 10 to the 1, which is 10 moles per liter. OK, now they get back to some more normal numbers, I think. Uh, the total here has to be 14, 10.8, 3.2. The amount of acid here is going to be 10 to the minus 10.8. One point five or sorry, one point six times ten to the minus eleven. Ten to 
technically this has one significant digit, so I should just be saying 2 times 10 to the minus 11 here. That is true. I'm, I'm just not going to round it that much. I've already written 1.6. I'll live with it. And over here, 10 to the minus 3.2 is my hydroxide. For that, I get 0 0.00063, so 6.3 times 10 to the minus 4. Uh, here's our hydroxide. We can negative log this and get pOH. 5.6 times 10 to the minus 4 log negative. So our pOH is 3.3. The p numbers have to add up to 14, so this has got to be 10.7. And 10 to the minus 10.7 gives us basically 2 times 10 to the minus 11 for the hydronium. pH 7 means that the pOH is also 7. Both of these are 10 to the minus 7. Hooray for round numbers. If the pOH is 6.9, then the pH must be 7.1. This will be 10 to the minus 7.1. For that I get 7.9 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And for the hydroxide we get 10 to the minus 6.9. And for that scientific I get 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That counting you're hearing is me counting zeros on my calculator to figure out how many decimal shifts are involved because my calculator doesn't automatically take these to scientific notation. It's great in a lot of ways, but not in that way. Uh, if 3 is 10, negative log of that will get us the pH. 10 log minus we get that our pH is minus 1. The pH and the pOH have to add up to 14, so this has got to be 15, and that makes this 10 to the minus 15. And here, this is hydroxide, 1 times 10 to the minus 7. If you negative log that, you find that the pOH is 7. That means the pH is 7, and that means the hydronium is also 1 times 10 to the minus 7. Now that we've done all those, pH is just the best way to do acidic or basic, I find. You can go down here and anything lower than 7 is acidic. Anything higher than 7 is basic. It's pretty much the cleanest. The other way you could do it, if you're good at reading scientific notation, is to look at the H3O versus the OH. If the H3O is higher, then it's acidic. If the H3O is lower, it's basic. And if they are exactly the same, then it's neutral, but pH is so good, let's just go with that. 6.23, acidic, 6.3, acidic, 5.4, acidic, 2.24, acidic, 0.6, acidic, minus 1, acidic, minus 1.3, very acidic indeed, 15, basic, 10.8, basic, 10.7 is above 7, so it's basic, 7 is neutral, 7.1 is just a smidge above neutral, so technically basic, Minus 1 is acidic, and 7 is neutral.